Hello everybody, welcome back to more Reader Rabbits Interactive Math Journey. We only have three exciting math worlds left. And we're on world eight, which is the second of the measurement worlds. And I do believe we'll be using some scales to weigh how heavy things are. And as a child, I remember this world being really difficult. As an adult, hopefully it'll be a breeze. Because <laughs> if it's not, I probably need to go back to school. <laughs> Anyhow, let's see what world eight's all about, shall we? We're off to the land of elephant weights. <laughs> oh boy! Check out that store. Wait for the train. Ah, the most successful trading store in the east by most measures. <laughs> Owned and run by Mira Big Era. And she's about to encounter a sizable problem. Oh, I, I do love the puns in this game. I think this world is supposed to take place in India, maybe? Not really sure. Also, wait, hang on. <laughs> you can click on me if you want to go back to the map. Or click on a pop spot to go to an activity. Keep clicking on the pop spots until you've collected all the stars. Um, that was Tally who was supposed to say that, not you, Pop. Okay, why did, why did... That is a Big Stop talking. It's my turn to talk. Nothing. Why did Pop, like, take the gap? Shadow. We're off to the land of the uh, elephant way. <laughs> it's just like, that was kind of weird. Okay, then. So it looks like we'll be going to the weight store. Let's go off there and see what that's all about. I remember this place. Oh dear me, I'm so discombobulated. So many trades to make before our family trip. Oh, hello there. May I help you? Are you ready to trade? For this round, we're measuring weights in kilograms. And everything is worth its weight in gold. When the two scale pans hold the same weight, we have a trade. Click on any item you want and drag it onto the empty scale pan. So do we have 25 kilograms of gold that we're trading for random stuff, or is it the other way around? We have random stuff that we're trading for 25 kilograms of gold. If the first, how the heck did we get our hands on that when we were stopping... Oh wait, maybe that was part of murdering the cows last episode. Eesh. The dark lore of the rabbit's math journey. Alternatively, if we're trading random junk for the gold, why is this lady trying, wanting to get rid of her gold? What's in it for Which her? Which item would you like? Just click on it and drag it onto the scale pan. Alright, so this weighs 25 kilograms. You don't even have to know what kilograms are, but it's a way to measure weight. So, bowling ball's five. Bowling ball. Select more oh, this is easy. Why did I struggle with this as a kid? We can just ball. put on... A... That's why. Uh huh. That's why, because you can't put just a bunch of bowling balls on here. Well, elephant statue. A statue of an elephant weighs even more, even though it's smaller than the bowling ball. It can weigh more because of how dense the material is. Just a fun little fact for you kids out there. I also want a pumpkin, and I want no. I don't want bananas. I really don't want bananas, but bananas. I'll put my prejudice aside for the sake of making this puzzle easier. That's a fair trade. Nice work. Make three fair trades to earn a ticket. Again, are, are we giving up the gold or are we getting the gold? I think we're giving up the gold, which is ridiculous. This is a terrible way. Oh, 10 kilograms of gold. It's elephant the weight of a single statue. elephant statue. That's I can easy. see that it's even. Let's trade. This is definitely supposed to be India, but she definitely doesn't have a typical Indian accent. Well, that's fine. I need another elephant statue in my life. Yes. The scales are balanced. Bag it, please. Yeah, okay, we're giving her Good gold. Job. Where did we get all of this? Smooth scaling from here on in. Oh, this must be... The previous world people paying for us solving their problems with math. Show how many trades you've made. The cats finally and paid for their pizza. The beaver finally paid the mortgage for his home, so now we've got cash to burn. 
Okay, Tally, I wasn't even listening to you, but I, I think I know what to do. Click on the treasure chest to earn another train ticket. Let's help Mira Bigira make a fair trade. Are you ready to trade? For this round, we're measuring weights in pounds. And everything is worth its weight in silver. All right, so now we're trading silver. This is in pounds. If you're from America, this is what you're more familiar with rather than kilograms. Yeah, uh, pounds are another way to measure weight. And we've got more stuff here. I need a new sewing machine sewing in my life. And by that, I mean I need a sewing machine you in my can life. Candelabra. Candelabra. I need two of those. Can Boom. That's a fair tree. Oh man, can you imagine if, like, every object was worth the same if it weighed the same in real life? I'm like, yeah, of course, I'll get rid of all of my old, like, uh, Donald Duck comics in exchange for, like, I've got five pounds of Donald Duck comics. I want five pounds of gold. That would be... <laughs> oh, man, that that's that's what I need. The irony is I don't even own Donald Which Duck comics, even though like? I like them. Just click What's on this? The carpet. I could, I, oh no, there's only one carpet. Oh, this actually might be a little trickier then. Candelabra. Okay, well that's actually too heavy. We can't do that. No, get off the weight. We'll put the candelabra on first, so we only have one of those. Okay, yeah, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Vase. Get two vases. Pottery. A pottery, and then teapot. And then a teapot. There we go. I can see straight. Man, the souvenirs we're going to bring back from India. Holy cow. Alright, another 50. Is this toilet paper? Fabric. No, it's fabric. Well, it could be toilet paper. Hmm. You can put more items on the scale pan than that. Yes, we can. Fruit. Oh, fruit. I like fruit. Tarzan's got it. Spice grinder. Eh. Fabric. Yeah, and then we'll get a spice, spice grinder, grinder and then pitcher. a pitcher. I can see straight. What a good deal. Thank you, Miss Elephant. Nice balance. All right, this one's actually going to take a little longer than the other games because we have to do 15 of them rather than just five. Click on the ticket That's me multiplying. The we have to do five games, and each game has three rounds of balancing. Three times five is 15. Math minor. Let's help Mira Bigira make a fair trade. Are you ready to trade? For I mean, this round, we're measuring weights in ounces. In ounces. Everything is worth its weight in copper. I don't want to say that this game is what caused me to get my minor in mathematics, but it definitely was a contributing factor towards my love of math, which eventually led to me getting a minor in mathematics. Actually, fun story. One of the main reasons I got a minor in mathematics is that I was getting my major in computer science, and I was, I was basically told by my academic guy, like, advisor, like, hey, you know, if you just take, like, two more math classes, you'll get a minor in mathematics. And that'll, you can put that on your resume. I'm like, heck yeah, I still need credits to graduate. So, Which actually, the like? reason I got, I got a math minor is just coincidence. But, for the sake of clickbait, maybe I'll say it was this video. All right. Oh, now we're actually getting food. Boom. Okay, and we're measuring in ounces. You may have seen the ounces on your uh, measuring cups. Well, that's a way to measure. I usually measure in cups. All right, 32. Jewel. A jewel? Yes, those. please. Oh, I can only get one Two of them, though. Balance. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Aw, oh, yeah. Rice. Let's get rice. Let's get... Cumin. <laughs> Let's get 10 ounces of cumin. Tea. And then 5 ounces of tea. I don't even drink tea. I can see that it's even. Let's trade. Bada beam, bada boom. This one can be tricky if you don't really know the proper way of balancing it. So, again, because you have to get it exactly right. If you put the 18 down, that means you're going to have to get something uh, with 2 down at the end. So that way it'll balance out to an even number. Peanut butter. Let's get another peanut butter. Let's get some spices. spices. Now we need 30. Oh. Necklace. Let's get two necklaces. 15 plus 15 Necklace. is 30. That's a fair tree. I actually do really like this game. This game kind of comp This game it does a good job of showing how math like compounds upon itself because we have to like do measurement like we did in World Free, but we also have to do things like addition and subtraction in order to get the math right on the scale. So yes, math does compound. Oh my gosh, we have to get the sixty. Yeah, we need. 
We need the 64 ounce pitcher. 64 is one of my favorite numbers. Coffee. Okay. Beans. I don't like beans, but I'll put wheat on as well. Cotton. Uh oh, we screwed up. Okay, I don't want beans anymore. Coffee. Tea. Tea. And cotton. Cotton. Boom. That's a fair tree. Everything but beans. <laughs> I don't like beans. Green beans are good. Ready to go. You've earned a ticket. Green beans are good. Bean sprouts are good. But I don't particularly like, like kidney beans, pinto beans, black beans. Click no, thank you. To help the next customer. Oh, we're just helping out in the shop. So we're just... Ch I'm still confused about, like, are we giving customers this stuff in exchange for, fin in exchange for like, gold? Are we giving them gold in exchange for random things? That no, these, these are the store shelves. So this is stuff the store is selling. So we're getting paid in, like, raw gold, which is pretty amazing. And I think we're just Let's helping out in the shop. Let's help Big Yura make a fair trade. Are you ready to trade? For this round, we're measuring weights in peanuts. And everything is worth its weight in peanuts. Okay, well, in the past we've used normal units of measuring weight, like kilograms, pounds, and ounces. Now we're measuring the weight in peanuts, which is not a standard unit of measuring weight, but it's a valid one, as long as you have a... As long as you are saying all peanuts weigh the same, which is not true. But for the sake of simplicity in this game, we are saying it's true. All right. Dried peas. 340 plus 260 is 600. So now we can get cumin. Boom. I can see straight. What a good deal. All right. Oh, hey, this is an easy one. We can get a jewel. Actually, no, it's not an easy one. Because 640 plus 260 is 900, not 800. So this jewel is a trap. Just like in Indiana Jones. Wheat. Let's get wheat. Let's get coffee. coffee. Oh, we can't get more coffee. Fine. Let's get cotton. cotton. We're up to 400. Can we get two veins of cumin? cumin? We cannot. Let's. Can we get one vein of cumin tea. and two veins of tea? We can. Tea. Boom. I can see that it's even. Let's trade. Beautiful. All right. Oh, we have a thousand peanuts. Well, peanut, peanut butter, butter seems obvious. Peanut, peanut butter, butter seems butter. still obvious. Hmm. Spices. Let's get spices. Let's get spices. spices and let's get cumin. That's a fair tree. This game is daunting as a kid. You have to go for 15 rounds of it. And with, with the math, it can be tricky if you're if you're inexperienced with math. But this is a good way to test your skills. And this, this is actually an example of a good game in Math Journey. Because it, it is fun. And it is challenging. It's kind of like a Zumbinis-style puzzle, which is high praise. Zumbinis is a fantastic game. Let's help Mira Big Yura make which I have also let's play. Are you ready to trade? We're still measuring in peanuts? Round, we're measuring weights in peanuts. And everything is worth its weight in... Alright, this time we can get the jewel and we can get peanut butter. That's a fair trade. I give you a thousand peanuts in exchange for peanut butter and a jewel. <laughs> that sounds like a good deal to me. Alright. 800, let's see. Dried peas. Dried peas and wheat. That's 600 and then we can add cumin. Yes. The scales are balanced. Bag it, please. There we go. All right, last last weighing of the day. We got a thousand peanuts here. Let's do dried, dried peas. peas and wheat. Cumin, cumin. and um, more cumin. cumin. Yes. I hope you like the cumin. Scales are balanced. I like cumin Bag in moderation, but it's not my favorite flavor. Good job. It'll be smooth scaling from here ha -ha. on. Ha-ha! Good puns. Good puns. Um, hey, be careful of that. Hooray! We get a gold star for weighing stuff. Click exit if you need a break. Or keep clicking on the train tickets to stock the shelves your own way. 
Nice robe, by the way, Tally. I always comment on her, like, wardrobe at the end of the game, because I'm more focused on the math. That's a good game, though. That's very well done. Yeah! Alright, what's the math challenge? The trains are crowded today. Find the animal that is the same height as the empty rail car. Look at the empty rail car. Then look at all of the animals waiting for the train. Click on the animal that is the same height as the empty rail car. Oh, interesting. I forgot about this game entirely. So, using different measurement skills, now we're measuring height. So, one, two, three... Four notches here. One, two, three, four. So it looks like you're going to be the one to go in. The peacock. Good eye. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to put in the goat. Good job. Thank goodness we've got. Thank goodness we've got the ruler here on the side, which is the same. The gap between these at, on the side is the same as the gap between these on the, the train car. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mr. Cobra. Good job. <laughs> Man, Tally's just doing everything. Like, she's already well set to have a job when she leaves school. <laughs> she's already worked so many jobs. I hope she sticks at, as being the chef at the pizzeria, though. Because that's amazing. Alright, one, two, three, four. Alright, it's gonna be you. Nope, it's not. We got that wrong. It's gonna be Birdie. All aboard! Uh-oh. Just gonna... There goes my A+. Plus. <laughs> I failed you, math! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I failed at math. How will I show my face at the dinner table now? Well, I live alone, so... I just won't use a mirror. Alright, hang on. One, two, three... Four, five, six. You're too tall. Fruit platter goat. All aboard! You don't have to carry the fruit on your head. You could hold it to your side and you'd be shorter, but nah, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's you. <laughs> Good eye. Man, it's crowded here. It's like, I've been waiting the longest. Yeah, but you're not the right height. The ostrich is the right Good height. Job. I was guessing there. At this point, I've already not gotten the perfect score, so I'm just throwing caution to the wind. All right, four high. That's going to be you. It's going to be you. Good eye. Thanks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Oh, seven's up here. So that's going to be the lion. <laughs> what a view! Apparently lions and goats are the same height. The only thing that's different about them is the height of the thing they're carrying on their head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you're the tallest. Good job! Pottery goat goes on next. And now all the elephants are on. Beautiful way! Cool. All aboard the Elephant Express. You got 10 correct out of 11. Try. Okay, no, no, no. That, yeah, that is her nose. It still looks weird. Still looks weird seeing her from the front. Apparently that's still only good enough for a gold star. We still got 90%. Actually, more than that. There's our souvenir! That math souvenir may help us find the math magician. Wait, wait for us! The train waits for no man or elephant. <laughs> well, I guess it depends on where you are in the world. Well, that, that was a souvenir may help us find. The I magician. know, Maddie. Click you need it. to learn to let me talk when I'm doing the let's play. I bought the game. I get to talk. I'm just, kids, make sure you are polite and let other people talk as well as allowing yourself to talk. Don't let any one person dominate the conversation. That was actually a good world. I like. I liked 
the first game. The second game, I mean, the second game was also good. It was a very different kind of measuring, and I actually think it worked well as a math game. So I give this world four stars out of five. I mean, it's not it's not opera scene Italian cats eating pizza good, but it's pretty good. It's it's a good math game. Booyah, we get the scales. Next world, I remember, and it's amazing. It's the Ever Fraction world. We will be going to Hawaii! Or a tropical island of some kind. But that will have to happen next time. Both of the Fraction Worlds are amazing. The world 9, I remember. World 10, I have absolutely no clue what it is. Like, seriously, I don't. I'm not sure if I've even ever played it before. But I'll probably be reminded of it when we get the sneak peek next time on Artie Play's Reader Rabbit Math Journey. Thanks for watching, everybody! Tune in next time, we are going to the Tropical Isle of... Insert Tropical Island name here. We'll be meeting a toucan and we're going to be making some cool fruit punch beverages. Both of the Fraction Worlds relate to food and it just fits so well. And it's one of the reasons why it's my favorite. So look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.